What's up guys? We have one more final stream from Cyrax. He's done forever. He's got a final send off. Let's check it out. So, so I'm making this final flash of the line. But this live stream is very important. The title of this live stream says it all. Okay. Right. This live stream says everything. And I'm going to be talking about it. See, something that a lot of people don't know is that here lately, I've recently been getting back into studying Buddhism and the way of Shaolin studying, you know, philosophy through you know, different, you know, Shaolin masters on YouTube and different interviews and stuff like that. And one thing that people need to understand is that people make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. There is not one person on the face of this earth that is perfect. Everything you do has consequence. Every action has a reaction. Every decision has a consequence. Kate's actions had consequences for myself. And the one thing I'm trying to understand is this. The one thing I want to understand is this everybody says that they want me to do better that they want me to get help which is what I'm currently working on doing right but how am I supposed to do better if like how am I supposed to do better in life and become a better person if no one lets me move on It does not make any sense. People say they want me to do better. But how am I supposed to do better if I'm not allowed to move on? In order to do better, that person must be allowed to move on from their past. As I said, we all make mistakes. We all fuck up. We all do stuff that we're not supposed to do. There is not one person on the face of this earth that can say that they are perfect. Not one. As I said, I'm not asking for forgiveness. What I'm asking is for to be able to move on and do better in my life and to stop harassing and attacking me every single day over and over and over and over. And the one thing I'm trying to understand, why is it that no one wants to question Kate on what she did? I exposed Kate earlier for what she did. Now ask yourself this, 
why did Kate not give a straight answer when I asked her on what grounds did she have to do what she did? Did you notice that she did not give a straight answer? Kate did not give a straight answer when I asked her on what grounds did you have to do what you did to me? Therefore, that makes her more at fault. I asked her on what grounds did she have to do what she did? She could not answer. She was unable to answer. She was not able to give a clear answer as to why she did what she did. Instead, she projected to try to hit on my stepfather. She proceeded to project and hit on my stepfather. As I said, I deserve to move on in my life. Just like any of you in the comments, if any of you in the comments made a mistake in your life, no matter how big it was, I would not care how big the mistake or how small it is. I would still allow you to move on so you can learn your lesson on your own and move on from that. I would not sit there and berate you and belittle you every day saying, hey, you're this, you're that, you're this, you're that. I would not do that to you. I would allow you to learn your lesson on your own and allow you to grow as a person. So again, I ask, why should I not be allowed to grow as a person? Why should I not be allowed to learn my lesson and grow as a human being, as a person? As I said, we all make mistakes. That does not mean that we should be held to our mistakes for the rest of our lives. As I said, we all make mistakes we all do it does not matter how big or how small it does not matter if you murdered someone or if you made a simple mistake we all deserve to learn our lessons in life we all deserve to be able to move on from that mistake As I said, Kate is just as much at fault as I am. Kate is just as much at fault as I am. Because she targeted me without grounds. So therefore, what does that say about her? What does that say about Kate targeting me for no reason at all? She had no grounds whatsoever. Therefore, she was in the wrong. She had no solid proof of me being who I am, supposedly. Therefore, she does not have any grounds. And giving off pedo vibes is not an excuse. That is not a reason. That is an excuse. As I said, we all make mistakes. As I said, I know I've fucked up and I've made several mistakes in my life. But in order to grow as a person, you have to make mistakes and learn from those mistakes. 
I have. Kate, however, has not. And what is unfair is what you people in the chat do to people like me. When people like me fuck up and make mistakes and we want to do better. Why do you not let them move on and do better? Why is that? Why do you not want people to move on and do better? Why do you not want myself to... Why is it that you do not want me to move on and do better? Is it because you want to see me rage out? Is that why? Is that why you guys want to keep me here? Because you want to see me rage out? Uh, the snail man. This question is for the snail man. Why is it that you, what is it that's so funny about seeing me rage out? Why is it that you find it funny to see somebody rage out? What is it about somebody else's anger and hurt and them getting mad at somebody that you find funny? But what is it that you, what is it in your mind when somebody rages out? What is it about their anger and their hatred that you find funny? I mean, why is it funny to watch somebody get mad and be hurt and be upset? What is so funny about hurting someone else? What is so funny about ruining someone's life when they do not know you and you do not know their story. As I said, you do not know my story. Therefore, you do not have the right to judge. None of you have the right to judge anybody except yourselves. You don't know my story. You only know one side of it. You only know one side of the story. You have not sat down and talked to me one-on-one -on, -one on a personal level. Therefore, you do not know my story from my side of what's going on. You only know what the internet, the fake people tell you. Kate is fake. You trolls are fake. The reason you are fake is because you are so quick to believe the bullshit lies that someone tells you no matter who it is. And if one person says it on the internet, it must be true, right? I mean, that's what And that's what, you know, that's the delusion and the illusion that you guys have in your head is that if someone on the internet says it, then it must be true, right? That's how it works, right? Kate says it. She can do no wrong, right? Kate is not perfect. Kate is a very evil person. And I have shown this tonight in my last live stream where I exposed her personally. Kate is an evil individual that targets people like myself for no reason without cause. I do not have a record of what people think I have a record for. 
Kate did not have any grounds to target me at all. She targeted me because I look different. Kate targeted me because I am different from the normal person because I look different. That does not give her the right to do what she did. If she had a real reason, if Kate had a real reason to target me, then I could understand. But I do not have a record of any pedophilia stuff at all. I have never been arrested for anything. I was not wanted and am not wanted by the police for any pedophilia stuff. Therefore, Kate's actions are void. They are false. They are inaccurate. What she did to me was wrong. And what she did to Chris Chan and Suplex City Vlogs and all these other people that she helped to bully was wrong. Now, like I said, I'm not asking for forgiveness. I am asking for a fair chance to move on and do better in my life. Because there's a lot of people that want to see me do better and grow as a human being. But how can I grow and do better as a human being if no one will let me move on past my mistakes and get through my past. In order to move on, you must let go of the past. In order to grow, you must let go of the past and what has happened. As I said, I'm not asking for forgiveness, at least not right away. I'm asking for a chance to be a better person. And to be able to be the person that I want to be able to be, which is a good person. And I know what a lot of you are going to say. No, no, no. Well, let me ask you this. Why is it that you do not want to let me move on and grow as a person? What is so hard about letting me move on and grow as a person? Actually, here's the thing, Ted. You don't know whether I am or not. Just because I do not say what went down does not mean that I am not sorry. A man can be sorry and not say what he did fully, flat out. A man can be sorry for what he did and not specifically say what happened. He can say that, yes, I made a mistake, or yes, this happened. That does not mean he has to say flat out what happened. That's not how life works. That's how you perceive life. That's how the troll and the hive mind works. And that's what all of you in the chat has, is a hive mind. You all are sheep of Mass Troll Mafia, aka a very evil individual person that is very toxic and very miserable with her own life. See, Kate is very miserable with her life. So she feels like she has to fuck with other people. 
she feels like she has to bully other people in her life to feel something. And when she targeted me, that was her trying to fill that void. But as I said, I am demanding that you trolls let me move on from what happened. Let me do better. And no, I am not going to leave the internet. Not by your say so. Because you do not judge me. You do not have that right to judge me. You do not have that right to tell me what I can and cannot do. That is on me. That is my free will. Not yours. Kate is a very evil individual human being. And she deserves what's going to be coming to her very soon. But as I said, I am no longer asking to let me move on. I am demanding and taking my power back to move on. I am demanding and telling you that you will let me move on. Otherwise, there will be consequences for your actions. You don't think that the courts are not going to see what you guys have done to me? You don't think that they're not going to see what all of you trolls have done to me over the years and how you've almost ruined my life entirely? What you guys do is toxic and it needs to stop. And as I said, for those of you that say you want me to do better, but keep going back to the same cycle. Somebody to do better. Let them move on from their mistakes. No matter how big or how small, let them move on. Let them learn. If they mess up, that's their fault, not yours. Do not worry about what another man is doing. Worry about yourself. Worry about you. Do not sit there and ponder on what another man is doing. Because that man's life and that person's life has nothing to do with you. Unless you are immediately related to that person, you have no business telling that person what to do, how to act, or any of that. You do not have that right at all. And while in then, I actually have left er uh, Tally Man, I have left Marty alone. He is the one that has not left me alone. And as I have stated, I am demanding that you let me move on. Because if you do not let me move on on my own, I will make you guys let me move on by completely wiping out every single troll in the comments. And here's the thing. I do not do anything crazy. Kyoko, listen. I do not do anything crazy. I try to do my own thing. If you go back and watch my videos, my actions speak for themselves. I do cover shows, I do my gaming, I work on my artwork, that's it. I do not do anything crazy. Now, have I done bad things in the past to make myself look bad? Yes. And I, do I regret them? Yes.
but that does not mean I should be held to my mistakes for the rest of my life. So to you trolls, I say this, starting tonight, every single troll will be getting wiped out. I will be turning off all comments on all my videos. I will be turning off all comments on all my videos from now on. And if I see anybody taking any of my videos, I am going to take the proper actions and I'm going to report them for copyright infringement when I come back after my break. Because I am tired of being walked on. I am tired of not being allowed to move on with my life. I am demanding. I am telling you what you are going to let me do. You are going to let me move on with my life. Let me move on with my life and do better. You say you want me to do better, now let me do it. Stop holding me to my past. Because doing that does not help anyone. It doesn't help me. It doesn't make you guys badass. All it does is hurt people and ruin lives. And it makes that person that's trying to move on more miserable. I do not need this toxicity in my life. And that's why after tonight, I will not be on here for quite some time. Because I want to work on myself and be better than what I was before. Now, a lot of people have been asking me, Am I getting the proper help? Am I going to therapy and counseling? And the answer is yes, I am going to therapy. I am going to be getting counseling and I am going to get be getting the proper help that I need. But I will not sit here and allow evil things that mean nothing to me into my life. Your trollish words, your evil negative words, they mean nothing to me. Which is why starting tomorrow, I am going to be going in and I am going to be turning off all comments on all of my videos. And then after I do that, I am going to be taking a very, very, very extensive break away from everything so that I can work on myself and so that I can do better. So that I can be the person that the people that do support me want me to be. Because I know that some of you in the comments, there's not a lot of you, but there are some of you in the comments and in my videos that do want to see me do better. And to those of you that do want to see me do better, I appreciate that. I really do. I appreciate that. Which is why I am doing what I need to do to get better. So that I can restore my reputation so that I can restore what was taken from me. So that I can do better than what I used to be. Because when I look back at the old videos of me, I don't like what I see. When I look back at the videos where I was raging out, I don't like what I see. That person that I used to be, I don't recognize that person. When I look at those old videos where I'm raging out, I do not recognize who that person is or was. That person, I don't know them. And that's why I have stated multiple times, and this is true. I am no longer going by the Cyrax name. 
because Cyrax was a name and a character that the trolls created into a bad light. They took that name and ran it into a bad light. So Cyrax, the name Cyrax is dead. I am not going to be associated with that name anymore. I am not going to, anybody that calls me by that name, I will not answer you. Because that name is ruined. That name has a lot of weight that I do not need to bear anymore. I have carried that weight around for the last five years and I am done carrying that weight around. My real name is Chance. Not Chase, not Chomo, not Cyrax, but Chance. That is my real name. Use it. Now, as I said, I do not know when I will be back. Because as I said, I am taking a very extensive break away from everything to work on myself and to do better. That way, when I do decide to come back in the distant future, I will be able to do what I want to do without being bullied, without being harassed or attacked. But as I said, I am going to be working on myself first. I am going to be working on myself and I am going to be doing what I need to do to get better so that I can move on and do better in my life. What the future holds, I don't know. But I do know one thing that I'm not going to allow myself to go to jail. I'm going to do whatever I have to do to get better. I'm going to do whatever I need to do to get my mind back to where it needs to be. So that I can show the world that I am not the person that the internet has made me out to be. Because I am not that evil person. I am not that person that they have made me out to be. I do not like being angry. I do not like raging out. I do not like being mad. I like having fun, laughing, joking around, having a good time with people. That's what I enjoy. I enjoy seeing people smile and seeing people enjoy what I do. That's what I enjoy. Which is why I say this to Kate. I hope that you get the help that you need. I hope that somewhere down the line, I hope that you find the proper mental health that you so desperately need. And as for me, I will see you guys in the distant future. As I said, I don't know when I'm going to be back, but I will not be posting for quite some time. So do not go looking for any posts, whether it be on here or on Facebook. Do not go looking for any posts or videos by me because you will not find them. I am doing what I need to do to get better. I'm going to be getting back into the stuff that I started studying a while ago and doing what I need to do to get better and to get my life back on track. Now, with that being said, I hope that peace stays with you all. And for those of you that are angry at me, I hope that one day down the line, you can find it in your heart to forgive me. And for those of you that don't want to let me move on, I hope you do realize now that it is not your choice in what I do. 
And with that being said, I love you guys. And I will see you guys in the distant future. Which is probably going to be about a year from now. So I will see you guys in about a year. And if I am able to do any updates, I will let you know. But until then, I will see you guys later on. Good luck to you all. May peace be with you. And I will see you guys in a year. Peace.